previously on Mowers and Blowers. So how about that? Did you ever think we were gonna get this running like this? I didn't have to clean the gas tank or replace the carburetor or anything. The carburetor's clean. Runs on its own. I was really surprised. And that freaking stand, that stand is terrible. I gotta try to figure out a way to keep the stand from not flopping down like that, you know? Uh, and also there's this thing too. We gotta remove this thing and try to do some weldage. Uh, so, I mean, look, man, it starts and runs now um, pretty well. You, know, you saw how uh, I took a bunch of leaves and I put it in there. How did that sound go again? Just like that. Uh, so, I mean, it it works good. Uh, it works well. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a new air filter. Uh, we know it starts and runs. So uh, next move I'm gonna make is uh, removing this chute along with its flange and uh, try to weld it up, you know, and then put it back again. And then try to fear, figure out how to how to work this silly stand. The stand really sucks. Uh, let me show it to you real quick. So the stand looks just like that, okay? And uh, when you lift it up, it doesn't go that way, but it goes this way completely, you know? So if you pull backwards on it, it'll just flop down like that. So I wanna kinda almost lock it in place into like there, right? I see some holes here. What if I put like a, like a stud through there? Will it fall all the way? I can't tell. I'll try something. So I stuck a screwdriver in there. If you push backwards, it'll still, it'll still fall down like that. So I don't know how, how I'm gonna keep that from once I weld it in place. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna use a sledgehammer and whack this thing so that it closes this corner here. Because when would I ever want it retracted like that? Man, that's, that's really strong steel. Look, I just bent it in a little bit more and it doesn't fall out. It falls that way now. We do that on the other side too. I just banged it in a little bit. Now it stays put. All right, let's remove that chute. Now. Okay, I uh, cleaned up the surfaces for that. I've got my Harbor Freight Tools Flux Core Welder. It'll work. And uh, it's laid out nicely there. And I just have to tack weld here on the inner part just to hold it. And then I'll, see? Tack weld it just to hold it and then go around.
So that's pretty good. Did an okay job. Like I said, I'm not a great welder, but you get better after you do it. And it's solid. So because this part here is the part that mounts to the flat surface, I can't have these uh, parts sticking out. Just gotta grind it a little bit and make it s smooth. There you go. Welded. I don't really care about the outside part, you know. Uh, it's tough to win this little area here. So now I'm just going to mount it. <laughs> Watch the holes don't match because it's not exact. Well, how about it? It works. Sweet Caroline. Bum, bum, bum. That was that was satisfying, except when you lose the bolt. That was satisfying. This fix was very satisfying because I had very low expectations. I didn't think I, son of a bitch. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get it going because I just felt like it was in such disarray, you know? Why doesn't that go in? That's what she said.
There we go. All right. Solid. It's solid, mate. I'm going to go find an air filter to replace it. All right, I put a new air filter in there, put the cover back on, welded the chute, fixed the stand, sort of. What do you think? Should we try, try and start it again? <laughs> Watch all that and doesn't start anymore. This thing will take your life away. It's no joke. That damn carousel with the flails spinning at full speed like that. God forbid it ever flies off somewhere. Can you imagine if it flew off? It's like a buzzsaw cut through a house. Crazy. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to just get rid of this thing, you know what I mean? And I'll list it for like 150 bucks, you know what I mean? I just want it out. I'll get more money for it because it runs, you know? But uh, pretty satisfying fix. The stand, welding the chute, getting it unhydrolocked, getting the carousel unlocked, finding the spark, changing the air filter. Didn't, have, didn't even have to clean the carburetor, which is amazing. And uh, now it runs and works. Good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.